Savannah, Georgia. Savannah has been called the city built upon its dead. Houses and squares have been built over mass graves from the Revolutionary War. It's not surprising then that this city has countless haunted locations. The Lucas Theatre opened in 1921, closed in 1976 after showing the excursist, and again reopened in 2001. During the restoration, unexplainable occurrences were noted by the workers. Applause would be heard and tools disappeared. The Colonial Park Cemetery opened in 1750 is said to be a regular site of voodoo rituals. Visiting mourners found remnants from the ceremonies before the cemetery began being closed at night. Rome Rome has many ghost stories and it's no wonder why. The whole city sits on catacombs and many gruesome things have taken place there, like the execution of Beatrice Sensi. Beatrice was 22 years old when she was imprisoned in Castel Sant'Angelo for killing her abusive husband and then later she was executed. It is said that her ghost walks Sant'Angelo Bridge every year on September the 11th with her head under her arm. There are many scary places in Rome to visit, but none of them are creepier than the museum and crypt of the Capuchins. The skeletons of more than 400 monks decorate this crypt. Chandeliers are made out of leg and arm bones and skulls are embedded in the walls. A sign there reads, What you are we once were, what we are you will become. Paris. Paris is famous for its catacombs, but has many more creepy places. In Le Musée des Vampires, you can visit the world's only real vampire hunter and his finds. Or, you can even venture to Rue Chanoinez to visit the ghost of a man who was inspiration for Sweeney Todd. He was a local barber who killed his victims, boiled their bodies, and finally served their meat in patties. The Eiffel Tower is said to contain the ghost of a young girl who had planned to break up with her boyfriend the same night he intended to propose to her. He did so on the top of the tower and she declined. He threatened to push her from the tower, but she didn't believe him and laughed. So, he pushed her. Allegedly, her laughter can be heard and her ghostly figure can be seen from time to time. New Orleans New Orleans is one of the most haunted cities in the world. Founded in 1718, it has seen more than a little bloodshed. It's probably the only place in the world where an allegedly haunted house is actually more expensive than a normal one. New Orleans is a city of voodoo, and voodoo queen Marie Laveau rests in St. Louis Cemetery, the most haunted cemetery in the world. She is said to wander the cemetery on St. John's Eve, June the 23rd, Phantoms of yellow fever victims and fallen Civil War soldiers have been reported countless times at the cemetery. The house of Madame Delphine Le Laurie is a famous haunted mansion in the French Quarter. After a fire destroyed parts of the house, a torture chamber was discovered in the attic. Madame Le Laurie tortured slaves, cut them open alive, experimented on them, and removed body parts. Allegedly, the ghosts of the slaves still haunt the mansion. So that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you've enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to leave a like. Until the next video, goodbye.